welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be doing something super simple like i'm not actually doing a tutorial or anything i'm just going to be swatching a few foils because one i absolutely love watching people swatch foils i find it so satisfying and two i generally just enjoy swatching foils like i think when you find a good foil gel it's it's good because you get like more excited about using foils then because it's easier so i'm going to be doing that i'm going to just going to pick out I've got two, three, four, six. I've got six practice like display tips to use. Um, the others are all in different shapes. So I'm just going to use these ones up. Um, so I've got six to use. I'm going to pick out six different foils, and yeah, we're just going to swatch them. It's very exciting. I love a foil swatching video. So I'm going to pick out the foils now on camera because I haven't actually chosen which ones I'm doing yet. I am very very unorganized today but it's all good we'll get there so let me just stick those on there you go so that's my six swats it's ready so i can't pick out the colors or anything that i'm going to be using until i've chosen what foils i'm going to be using so i'm going to do that now so let me just zoom you out so you can see what i'm choosing from i've got lots and lots in a drawer next to me because well, I don't have any other reason other than when I buy them, I've, I've got nowhere to put them now. I've, I need to like fill this up as I go along because there is a few gaps in here from ones that are next to me. So I want to do some Sparkle Supplies UK ones because I'm just in the middle of scheduling some posts to go up on Sparkle Supplies UK on the page for them on facebook so if you're not on the facebook page for sparkle supplies uk i definitely get on it because we all are very interactive like as the ambassadors and everything so you can have a chat with us obviously you can chat with other people that use sparkle supplies uk you can find out a lot about other products lorraine very often the owner of sparkle supplies uk very often posts um like product updates and things like when things are back in stock or when new things have come in and things like that so it's very easy to keep on top of everything that's going on over at sparkle supplies uk when you're a member of the group so definitely join that um i will link it in the description box um below so it's easy to find but just in case i forget and if you want to find it then do let me know and i will add it or um it is called ssuk sparkle group i think something like that i'm sure if you typed that in something very similar or the same would come up so i kind of want them like because i want to take some pictures and stuff because like i said i'm trying to get a bit of content um for the sparkle size uk um what's it called that looks really different doesn't it i might do that because that's a new one but yeah i'm trying to get a bit of content for the page so i don't want it to be them all to be too totally different because i want the picture to look nice but it's not the be all and end all so i might just go completely random and just swatch whatever i like the look of i'm trying to find some that i haven't used on my channel before so it's something different for you to see i just noticed i've got that i've just ordered it last night on sparkle supplies uk so that's very annoying but never mind it will just go in the giveaway box as always every time i get something i've already got but yeah i just want new ones like different ones to swatch that is really cool i'm gonna swatch that for sure got some more gaps here so i'm just filling these in like as i come across them because i'm really bad at putting foils back when i've used them it's quite annoying what else have we got see they're all dotted around they're not in any like specific order which would make it a lot easier but there you go gaps everywhere i didn't realize i've got quite this many gaps to be honest so we've got quite a few here this butterfly one's really cute i'm trying to stick to like the same sort of thing so like these sorts of designs like i might do i want to do something quite similar to that like just to keep it all sort of similar what's that one up there i think i've done that before a very difficult decision there's a gap up there let's fill that with one of these down here i've got two gaps down here i'm 
really, really bad at keeping tidy. Ooh, I love this one. I'll definitely do that one. That is beautiful. This one's nice, but I've already swatched that before in another swatch video, so we'll keep that. So I just need another two now. So I'm just going to quickly go back over and find two, and then I'll get going. Okay, so the ones that I've chosen are here. Oh, we zoomed in quite a lot there. There we go. So I've got Iced Gem, Pearl Oyster. This one's so different. I love that. Um, blue Opal, Pink Marble, Bubble Gum, and Deep Blue. So I'm going to just do those. So I'm just going to pop a base down on all of these nails. I'm going to do that off camera and then I will let you know which colours I used as the base when they're all done. Okay, I've just done a coat of just one coat of colour on all of those nails. Um, just a colour that's relatively similar to the one that I'm going to be like the colour of the foil basically. Because then if there is any tiny gaps where there's no foil or anything, it won't look quite as strange if there's a similar colour underneath. So first things first, I'm gonna swatch bubble gum. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit off the end, because obviously we don't need all of this foil just for one one nail so i'm just going to cut off how much i'd need to fit onto this nail obviously i need to apply my foil gel which i'm going to talk to you about now so i always remove the tacky layer from my gel polish because majority of the, well sometimes obviously you do have the same brand foil gel as you do gel polish and that's fine but i still remove the tacky layer from the gel polish first because then it won't you won't end up having your inhibition layer mixing with your foil gel and then potentially making your foil not apply as well. So I'm just removing, gosh, just removing the tacky layer first. There we go. Um, and then obviously we've got our foil gel. So I'm using Foil Me from Sparks Files UK. You will be pleased to hear that we're finally, well not we, Lorraine, bless her, has been trialling foils foil gels for such a long time now because she had problems with the supplier of foil me um so she's finally i think i don't want to jinx it but it seems like she's found one that she's happy with so she's waiting on a delivery and then obviously she will be able to start selling selling foil gel again and let me just say it this way the foil gel that she's going to be sending going to be selling again i promise you is uh as good as slash the same <laughs> as foil me so definitely don't put off having it just because it's got a different name i promise you it will be as good um so definitely will be worth getting obviously i will get some when it is available and i will use it on my channel because i am almost running out of foil me now not running out but like i will in the near future so be good to be able to get another one so i've just popped a coat of foil me on there and i'm just going to put this in the lamp for 60 seconds and then in the meantime while that's in i'm just going to paint a coat of foil me on all the other nails as well so they're all ready and then i will come back to apply the foil with you so this nail is back out of the lamp i've now got my foil just make sure it's clean and i'm just going to place it on top just like that and then first things first, I'm just going to run my finger down the middle of the nail, just like this, to make sure that's all nice and stuck. And then I'm just going to get further over each time. And then eventually when I get nearer the outside, I'm just going to hold the actual tip itself and take it off there. And I'm just going to push down towards the side with my finger. Like so, just making sure that every last bit, that there's no kinks in it or anything and that everything is stuck completely and then once i'm happy with that side or then flip over and do the other one just making sure that it gets as flat as possible it doesn't matter if there is any kinks there will be naturally because obviously a nail isn't totally flat um so i'm just using my nail to basically iron out those kinks especially to the side walls, cuticle area and free edge. Like you really want to make sure that you're paying a lot of attention to those areas because it's really easy for you to miss those. 
I'm just putting pressure all over the foil. You can use anything to do this. You can use a lint free wipe to just go over the whole nail like this. Or, you know, you do whatever you want to put pressure on that nail to make sure it's all stuck. And then you can start peeling it away in sort of like slow motion. I'm just checking if it's stuck. But as you can see, you can you can just tell that it's stuck because obviously everything is clear. So I'm just going to get my stand ready again. And I'm going to use, I don't know why I'm finding it so difficult. There we go. I'm going to use the foil itself while it's still on the nail to push that back onto my stand. So I'm not getting a massive fingerprint all over the nail. So you can just see there, there's little tiny bits that haven't stuck. It's not out of line or anything because I've pulled it up in slow motion. So if you do it like this, you'll soon see if there's any places that haven't. And then you can just pop them back down, put a bit of pressure on and just get those bits stuck. That bit there just really does not want to stick and I'm not sure why. But like I said, when you've got a similar colour underneath, it doesn't quite matter so much. So that's that nail. I'm just going to pop some top coat on that, but I'll do that off camera in a second. I'm just going to move on to the next nail now. So this one is deep blue now. And this has already got some foil gel on it, so I don't need to do that again. So I'm just going to get my foil. It's got a bit of a bend in the middle, which is a bit annoying, but it's fine. And I'm going to use... So probably this area because then I'm going to get a, hopefully a little bit of the gold in but also get a bit of that marbly effect as well. Yeah, literally the tiniest amount of gold. So again, I'm just going up the middle, pressing down on it, making sure that's all stuck first. And once that's secure, I can go in and do the rest. I'm just, gosh, taking that off the back and then just going in. Again, side walls putting a lot of effort into those and then I'm going to turn it around do the top putting pressure everywhere and then start to remove it in slow motion so then you can see where it isn't stuck and put it straight back down get some pressure on it and then you can keep going so I'm trying to do it at an angle where you can see what I mean But that one was really easy to be fair it's all stuck really well so i'm just going to get my display tip back again pop that on there and then i can take my foil off beautiful and there's that one so i'm just going to do the foil gel on the other one. All right, I've got one left. So let me just get this foil. So I wasn't really sure which colour to use for this foil because it's a bit multicoloured. So I just went with like a aquary sort of colour, but it's very difficult to obviously match a foil that's got lots of different colours on it. So it's just one of those with this sort of foil. I'll try and get a bit of a few different colours in on the swatch. Gosh, I'm getting stuff everywhere. I don't know what is happening here, but I've made a right botch job of this one. Folding it back up. I can never fold them up how they were to start with. There we go. It takes me so long to get them back to normal. So let's go on with this one. I'm probably going to use this area. So we've got a bit of all colours. And I'm just going to press that down. You want a light colour for um, light foils. I'll It'll sort of make the foil look a bit dull if you put a really dark colour underneath a light foil. So just making sure this is all stuck, putting lots and lots of pressure on it everywhere. You can usually tell when it's stuck because you'll see the foil go a bit clear because obviously the colour itself isn't on it anymore. Just need to get the blue tack off the back of it, which has been annoying. So I'm just going to rub it in everything off camera because you just saw me do it a million times and then I will come back and show you what it looks like when I've peeled it off. Okay, so it's peel time. Wonderful. Gosh, it's stuck to me. 
So that's what that one looks like. It's very pretty. I can't wait to top coat them because top coat always makes all the difference. So I'm going to pop the other ones into the lamp with the foil gel on and then we can get on with those. Okay, so next up I've done a grey nail for this oyster one to go over the top of. So I'm just going to pop that on top. And then again, go just up and down the middle. And then I'm going to rub it all in and then we can peel it off together at the end. So here's this one. Magic. I really like this it's really different look at that look much better when it's top coated obviously so next up we've got a pale pink color for this beautiful pink marble foil so i'm going to use this one now again up the middle and then i'm going to rub it off camera okay so let's try and peel this one beautiful look at that so easy with a good foil uh, foil gel, sorry. So last one, I haven't actually cut any up yet, so let me just grab a bit of the foil. So this time I've got a pale blue colour for this base. I'm going to do that bit there because I'd like a bit of gold. And then again, just up the middle and I'm going to rub it in off camera. Okay, so let's just peel this off. I didn't actually get it all the way to the bottom, which is really annoying, but never mind, it's only the tiniest bit. So again, I'm doing it at an angle so I can see then if there's any bits that are not stuck and then just put it straight back down and give it a rub over where it needs it. This is a beautiful foil. So I'm just going to top coat them all off camera now and then I'll show you what they all look like together at the end. So here are the finished designs, like all top coat and everything. I think they look absolutely amazing, such beautiful colours. Um, if you're wondering what this texture is on this nail, it is because I put my coat of foil gel on a little bit too thick. So, no, I didn't. I put the foil gel on and then I popped it into the lamp. So it cured for like three seconds while I was putting that in. And then I waited a little bit too long before putting the other two in. So it didn't get cured straight away. So it's gone a bit funny, but don't worry about it because obviously it's still stuck perfectly. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon with another one. Bye.